What's going on YouTube? It's Drew Lefty NDV10. Uh, coming back today with a, a bunch of pre-war stuff, of course, but um, no T206. So if you uh, want to learn maybe a thing or two about some other stuff, uh, stick around. Hope you enjoy. Um, just a few things I've had randomly coming in over the past uh, month or two. Uh, very first thing is a T213 Type 2. This is uh, Richard... Hoblitzel has a very famous card in the T205 set, toughest card in the set, Hoblitzel no stats. Uh, T213, this was just a cool cheap pickup I won. does have a little bit of front damage right down here, but uh, the back is pretty clean. So what I bought this card at, who, I mean, it's probably a one, maybe a one and a half they give it. A lot of creasing going on, but uh, just a really cool image. Was happy to grab that for what I paid. I think it was like $30, $32 or something shipped all in. Uh, next up, and there's some very, very tough cards in this video. So definitely, I definitely recommend hanging around, but you know. Uh, got two E90-1s in, in a lot. Uh, first up is Al Bridwell. Very cool, very nice pose. This is definitely gonna be an upgrade to the one I have. Back on this one is pretty clean. That's that's in the semi-rigid, obviously. So very cool. E90-1. And then this is one I had been wanting a long time. Uh, I really like Turkey Mike Donlin. This is a pretty solid card. I think it gets a two and a half. Uh, back in the day, this would have been a three easily, even with that little crease up there. But very cool card. Love it. Be uh, happy when that one comes back in a slab. So I'll be sending the, those two off soon. Uh, pretty much everything in this video, actually. Um, next up, we've got uh, an N19. This is a very, very cool card. I can't remember if I shot this off, so forgive me if I have. Uh, this is Captain Kid. So this is an N19. Captain Kid. Very cool. Pirates of the Spanish Main is the name of this set. Look at all that text on this. Just crazy how much text they uh, got on that card. Anyways, my camera focused back in. Very cool. Whoop. Just kidding. There we go. Uh, and then next up, sorry about that. Um, very tough card, by the way, Captain Kid. Uh, there's a Blackbeard. Um couple other very famous pirates from back in the day. Uh, this is one I had wanted for a long time as well. I've got kind of a thing for uh, portrait poses of players who don't have a portrait in the T206 set. So uh, this one was one that was always on my radar. Fred Snodgrass. Uh, this is an M116 Fred Snodgrass. So Sporting Life. This came in a magazine or... Well, it, it did come from a magazine, but the, that's what the N designates. Obviously, something like the N on the Captain Kid, the N19, that stands for non-sport, I would assume. Pretty sure. Uh, e is pretty much caramels, candies, gum. Um, obviously, T for tobacco. <laughs> I think D stands for food, like actual food, bread, and... Uh, things of that nature, but anyways, M116 Fred Snodgrass, SGC4. This is the blue back, which I have found to be a little bit tougher. There's a lot of different backs on these M116s, but when you think of baseball, think of sporting life. For 27 years, the recognized authority on all baseball matters. I love the hyphenated today. It is larger, brighter, and better than ever. Published every Saturday, five cents. So, um, I think you could send in and get copies of these if you had stamps or whatever. So they came in like a little packaged envelope. So a lot of these are in really nice shape, really held up over time. So really cool. Uh, the next pickup is super, super huge, but I'll preface it by showing two other cards first. So um, here is a 1909. These were E254s, and this is a uh, Stars of the Diamond or a Colgan's Chips, and this is a Rue Boidel I have, St. Louis variety. I hate the way this thing has twisted in there. So, Stars of the Diamond, 
you got one in every five cent package of Colgan's chips. So it was a little gum piece. Uh, they came in a little tin and uh, sitting on top was uh, obviously one of these little cards. So the gum that's round, Colgan's. Um, this is, uh, like I said, an E254. Um, these are pretty tough to find just in general. When you look at other sets, there's not a lot of these out there. Um, there's also a very, very, very rare tin top. Uh, subset that is probably, um, gosh, those things are just impossible to find. Uh, and then there is the red border, and those are E270. So I'll show you the Gabby Street that I already have. I bought this raw um, about two years ago, maybe. Came back up, SGC4. Absolutely love that. It's a stunner. There's no different, um, no, nothing different on the backs, I don't believe. Uh, actually, yeah, it is very different. What am I thinking? So, send 25 box tops from Violet or Mint Chips. Get a free, handsome photograph of the world's pennant-winning team. So, very cool. Very, very tough. Um, anyway, so, all that to say that I got another E250, I'm sorry, E270, which is the Colgan's Red Border. Um, this card is absolutely, well, it's an item. I don't know that I would call it a card, uh, but it is absolutely stunning. Uh, it is of John Titus, who, if you uh, follow the T206 set at all, he has very, very popular pose uh, in the T206 set. He is the only player with a mustache. Uh, and here you can see said mustache in Colgan Chips form. The only other real Conlon image or I'm sorry, Carl Horner image that is used for this card uh, is on the Rose Company postcards, which are just so insanely tough. Um, I mean, it would be several thousands of dollars to even get one in very, very poor shape. So um, this is just a stunning little piece, super, super rare. PSA has only graded one of these. And I have another one. So that'll be going off the SGC soon. Very cool, very thankful to have one E270 red border, much less added a second one, and of uh, John Titus with his famous, famous mustache. So that's it, guys. I hope you learned a few things. Um, thanks for watching. I'd love to uh, hear some comments down below. See you next time. Peace out.